The economy we live in has completely shifted. In the last century, the wealthiest people on the planet were providing global commodities such as oil and gas. The biggest companies were all energy companies. Fast forward to today, some of the biggest companies in the world are tech companies. Amazon, Alibaba, those are e-commerce brands. Apple, Microsoft, tech brands. In 2023, wealth is no longer measured in terms of a currency. Attention is the new currency. Getting rich in the new economy is a matter of how good you are at capturing and keeping people's attention. The big companies are all fighting for the attention of the masses. TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, those platforms are specifically designed for you to stay hooked and spend as much time as possible on those so that you keep consuming content. Those big companies literally hire scientists to design their platforms in a way that are so addictive that you always keep coming back for more. Whenever someone goes on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or YouTube and starts consuming some content, ads will be shown to them. The more content someone consumes, the more ads will be shown to them and the more money the platform will generate. What are big businesses and brands doing in 2023? They're paying for your attention. They're paying for their ads to be shown in front of millions of people. If your goal is to become very wealthy, now's your chance. A couple decades ago, becoming rich was a hassle. You needed to have a really good business idea and then you needed to go to the bank to take out a loan and get massively in debt. Or you had to convince investors to lend you access to their finances. But back then you had to take huge, gigantic risks to even get just a shot at becoming wealthy. Nowadays, you can literally become a millionaire in less than five years by uploading some content on social media. No need to go to the bank, no need to take out a loan, no need to be leg shackled by investors. You can literally build an empire starting with a cheap phone. Do you see the mind blowing shift that's happening right there? There's some people right now making more money than a doctor who spent 10 years studying in university and it all started because they grabbed their phone and started to record some content. Mr. Beast's net worth is estimated at approximately $105 million, according to Forbes, and the guy's only 24 years old. I recently watched his interview with Graham Stephan, and he said that one of his companies called Beast Burger generated over $100 million in sales in 2022. Russell Brunson launched ClickFunnels and grew it into a $100 million business in five years without investors or funding. Conor McGregor had a $600 million deal for his whiskey company. The Rock started Terramana Tequila and now that business is worth $3.5 billion. In 2019, Forbes estimated Kylie Jenner's net worth at $1 billion and declared her to be the youngest self-made billionaire in the world at age 21. The thing that you need to realize is that each day that goes by, more and more people are discovering this crazy opportunity that we have right now to become very, very wealthy. The more people are getting started and trying to build an audience on social media platforms, the more difficult it's going to get to grow an audience. When Facebook first launched its advertising program, pretty much anyone could get a nice return on investment even with crappy ads and no skills. You could just throw $200 a day and have a nice product and $1,000 would come out. So you'd spend 200, get 1,000 back. Because it was new, ads were very inexpensive and Facebook users were a lot more responsive to the ads that they were shown, simply because they weren't used to seeing ads everywhere. But as time went by, people became used to being bombarded with ads 24 seven and became desensitized. Ad costs therefore went up and many successful companies actually had to turn off their ad campaigns completely overnight because of this shift. But you have to realize, and this is very important to understand, that the same thing is going to happen with organic growth on social media platform sooner or later. More and more people are going to wake up and realize that this is a crazy opportunity. More and more people are going to open up TikTok accounts, YouTube channels. The competition is going to keep rising year after year. It's going to become increasingly difficult to build an audience from scratch for that very reason. Scarce resources are the things that have the most value. You can find rocks almost everywhere, but very few people possess a diamond, which is the reason why it's so valuable. Scarcity is a big component of what makes something valuable compared to a simple commodity. The war for attention is the new gold rush. I'm an introvert, so I used to think that I would much rather keep building my company in the dark without having to have a personal brand and be the face of the brand. I thought I could just rely on outbound prospecting and paid ads to grow my business. But then I noticed all of those people attaining mind-blowing levels of wealth by becoming the face of their brand and building an audience. In this new century, people don't just want to have to deal with a company with a faceless brand. People want to buy from someone they think they know, relate to and trust and like. The big companies such as Nike or Adidas 
They don't have the personal branding aspect, which is the reason why they sponsor famous athletes to wear their products. Because they don't operate on a personal branding marketing strategy, they rely on influencer marketing instead, which is to pay other influencers, other famous people, to become the face of the brand. Cristiano Ronaldo Michael Jordan. People see these guys wearing Nike or Adidas or whatever brand, therefore they buy the products in question because they want to be associated with their heroes. They want to gain a part of the hero status. And so I used to think that it was a lot better to be rich and unknown rather than to be rich and known. Because we hear all those stories about weirdos and paparazzis and stuff like that. But at the time, what I couldn't understand is that I had the wrong state of mind. I was approaching this in the complete wrong way. When you start a business, People are gonna criticize you, some people are gonna hate on you, literally, but it's just part of the game. Whatever you choose to do in life, even things that technically everyone should approve, like starting a workout program and trying to be healthier, there's always gonna be someone to talk crap about you, to disagree with what you do, and to call you names. And so the real question I asked myself was, is it worth it to not go after my dreams, knowing that whatever it is that I do, there's always going to be someone to judge and to criticize me? Ask yourself. Should you really not start that business that you've been wanting to start for so long? Just because some people are telling you that you should get a real job instead, whatever the hell that even means? Should you not be in a relationship with this person because somebody in your family disapproves? Should you not start to go to the gym and eat healthier and gain some muscle mass because some people are going to think you're a weirdo or you're obsessed or you're self-centered? And it's funny because it's actually quite the paradox. Some people are going to criticize you and to talk trash behind your back or even to your face. And so we're always thinking that everybody is always thinking about what we're doing, watching what we're doing, when in reality, nobody cares. When you realize that nobody cares because everyone is focusing on their feelings, on their thoughts, on their own lives, it becomes freeing. Someone leaving a negative review on your product page or someone leaving a negative filled with hate comments on your YouTube channel, a few seconds later they're gonna go and do something else. The next day, they've forgotten about you completely. In order to become wealthy, you need leverage. If you work for $10 an hour, besides working more hours or getting a raise or a higher paying job, you don't really have that much leverage. Everyone has the same 24 hours in a day, you cannot possibly be working 24 hours a day. The people who become really successful are the ones that know how to get the best return on investment on their time. It's impossible to become a millionaire just by working at a fast food restaurant for minimum wage because you have zero leverage. Leverage is the difference between very wealthy individuals and average people. There are different forms of leverage. You can leverage someone's time or capital or you can leverage automations and machines. With social media platforms, you can expose your brand to millions of people every single month for free. That is the power of social media. Like literally, Imagine you have to send 1 million messages a day to people so that your brand becomes known. Instead, you can literally put out a few YouTube videos per month and you can get millions of views per month. That's millions of new people each and every single month discovering your brand. If no one knows you or your company, you are not going to generate a lot of money, a lot of wealth, unless you go really high ticket in a very small and very targeted, very specific niche. But even then, you're going to max out very quickly. And if you do not have a personal brand or a strong brand, it's not like those people are going to take you seriously anyway. To be selling high ticket, you need to show that you are legitimate to charge a high ticket price. And you have to understand that it's not even about who makes the best products. Because there's a lot of big companies out there, their products are trash, the quality isn't that great. It's just that millions and even billions of people know their brand, so they buy from them. They consume from that company. And the cool thing with building a personal brand is that the results that you are going to get are going to keep compounding over time. So it creates a sort of snowball effect. The more content you create, the more viewers you will attract, the bigger your audience will get. And as your audience gets bigger month after month, the algorithms of the social media platforms are going to show your content to more and more people because they see, hey, more and more people are liking this content. Therefore, we should push it out to a wider, broader audience. So you're gonna get more views, more profit, more revenue, more followers, and the cycle compounds again. People say that the sky is the limit. There is no limit. So how do people do it? How do people become super wealthy by leveraging social media? The first thing is that they take years to build their social media following to create a strong personal brand. And the second thing is that they monetize their audience in a way that makes sense. Building an audience of millions of people that would happily buy your products does not happen overnight. You know the saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. Great things take more time to be built. 
That's why they're even more worth it than normal things. If having a great body, if being rich wasn't hard to obtain, if we could all have it just that easily, it wouldn't be that valuable in reality. But think about it. If it wasn't worth it to have a great body or to become rich, then no one would actually put in the work to get there. And people wouldn't stay there if it wasn't enjoyable and worth it. Everybody would just quit at some point. If going to the gym and eating healthy wasn't worth it, then people would not continue to do it for years on end. It takes about 18 hours to make a Toyota compared to a few months for a Rolls Royce. People post a couple YouTube videos for 3-4 to four months and they think that their hopes are dashed because they didn't hit the 1 million subscriber market. Conor McGregor, Kylie Jenner, the Kardashians, Mr. Beast, they only started to monetize their audience later on with products that they knew would appeal to their followers. The new billionaires of this world will not be built on the oil or gas industry. The new billionaires of the century are going to be built on media. And as more people try to seize this crazy opportunity that we have right now, media is only going to get more and more expensive. The worldwide economy has changed forever. You know the saying that the best time to get started was yesterday? and the other best time it's right now. This is especially true when it comes to media. If you can capture and keep people's attention and do that at scale, you will become very, very rich. Better get started now before it is too late.